It's just the moth. It's just the moth. Okay, so it has been raining a lot. I mean, a lot where we live. We haven't really had much summer weather. I think we had some sun maybe in May, but then we also had snow in May. And then June, it's just rainy. July, still rainy, as you can see. Look at that. It's just cloudy. This is actually one of the better days that we've had. We have had hail like three days so far. So we can't really get out of the house so much. And well, these aren't doing too badly. Parsley. Of course, I have to do some reading for that. Remove those. And then the thyme. At least these are doing well. And then I have the tomatoes and the lettuce here but look at this look at that my green onions look at that it's been raining so much and look at that so i have to replant these these like are nice over the real planters but they don't have um holes in there that's the issue that i'm having but this is actually doing better than that one. That one is just bogged it down with water. That's my phone. Look, flowers, grass, and trees are happy to meet us. Look. So then it's yes, falling again. It certainly was worth jumping from that height. So as we were saying, it's been raining a lot here, and one of the questions Caitlin had was, why does it rain? You know, she's at that age, she's four, where she's curious about everything. So we explained the whole water cycle to her, and we even had her watch a video on YouTube explaining the whole water cycle. So we are going to do an experiment with her. Um, I found this on Pinterest, and the only thing that you'll need, it's like a clear glass. We have a vase right here. We're going to use shaving cream, water, and blue dye. And that's it. And of course, we're going to add little things to represent the earth, I guess, or the land for her. So we just had these like acrylic maple leaves, like. So we're going to be using these as well. This is not part of the experiment, just to make it fun. She had some dinosaurs, but they can't fit in there. So she's just going to be using some 
of these characters that she got in her Kinder Eggs <laughs> that you can find all over the house. And who's that one? Tiana. Tiana. Princess Tiana. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Carefully though, you don't want to break the glass, okay? Okay. And what did we say this is representing? This is like the soil, the land, right? Or the land, the grass? Right. Are you going to add your people inside? Yeah. Thinking that maybe they'll float, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, are you putting Tiana in? Uh, no, you don't want Tiana to get wet? <laughs> no. I want, because she's too beautiful and plant her. Okay. All right, now we're gonna add some water. You wanna help mommy pour? Uh, sure. Okay, okay let's pour it. Wonder if she's... Okay, so they're floating. Okay, let's see if they're gonna... They're all just floating. Good, they're sinking to the bottom, finally. <laughs> but she's, she's floating, honey. <laughs> she's too happy. She's too light. She, she's, uh, she's yeah, okay, so let's take her out because she's going to float, right? Now we know. She floats. She doesn't sink. She's not heavy enough, okay? Are you, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. What? Okay. I didn't even breathe. You tried to drown me. <laughs> All right. No, just doing a test with you. Yes, yeah, so we're doing an experiment, right? Okay. So let's do this now. Can I put it in? Well, she's gonna float, so she's not gonna really work well with our experiment. All right. So, so this represents the land. Let's say the water represents just the air around us. Okay. Now here comes the fun. Can I have this one? Sure. Okay, let's see. Mama might have to help you. Okay. Daddy, are you out? <laughs> it does. It has things in there. Let me lean it for a second, see if it will work. Yeah, that's the problem. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> it's just floating and that's covering it. Yeah. Okay. Just push it down a little bit. Right. Okay. What do you think this is going to represent? The shaving cream. Can I have a paper towel, please? Mm. Okay. What do you think it represents? It represents the clouds. Very good, honey. It represents the clouds, okay? So now... Thank you. Thank Just you. Wipe this uh, can I wipe? Sure. Ah. Okay. So now we have okay. some blue dye. Blue dye? Can I do the blue dye? Yeah. Are you guys able to see this properly? Let's just make sure. Okay. We've never done this experiment before, so you're doing it with us. Okay. So, what is the blue dye going to represent? The rain. The rain. Very yeah. good. All right. Let's see how this works. And not a lot of my dye, please. Okay, I want, I want to Okay. okay. You need more. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, Kaylin. Let's see. I guess the clouds are too big there. It's covering it. Alright, so let's see how this works. Okay. <laughs> Not as falling. Oh, oh, Mom! It's coming through? Hold on, let's see. Look at that. So what is happening now, Caitlin? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> Very good. 
So the cloud got too heavy with all the water drops. So the blue dye will be the all the water droplets, right? Yeah. And now it's beginning to rain. Look at that. Is that cool? Yep. Yep. <laughs> And it's got into one, two. I guess it's raining in certain parts of the city. <laughs> Rain hasn't reached all the parts yet. Wow, we got. Daddy, da 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 da. Is it done yet? Almost. We don't have to wait until it all goes down, but... We have to. Looks like Elsa's cave. This is the end of the experiment. Um, I hope you liked it and sub and subscribe to this video and don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. Bye. Bye.